Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So if you are unable to play Uncharted Legacy of Thieves collection game on your Windows computer and if you are receiving this error which says Windows 10 version 19.03 or higher is required. Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart try launching the game. Still you are receiving the error message. Then uncheck compatibility for Steam EXE file. Now for this type in Steam in Windows search box and then make a right click on Steam and then click on open file location. Now make a right click on Steam and then select properties and then go to compatibility tab. Uncheck the box which says run this program in compatibility mode for. So if this is checked, uncheck this. Once you uncheck it, now click on apply, click on OK. Now open Steam and then launch the game. Also, Try running the game in compatibility mode. You can also try this. So go to the game installation folder. So make a right click on the game, select manage and click on browse local files. Make a right click on the game exe file, then select properties and then go to compatibility. And this time put a check on the box which says run this program in compatibility mode for and then select Windows 8 first. Click on apply, click on OK. Now launch the game. Still you are facing the problem this time go to properties compatibility and then select windows 7 and then click on apply click on ok and then launch the game you can also try this with this exe file go to properties compatibility and then put a check on the box over here and then click select windows 8 apply ok then launch the game still you are facing the problem you can select properties and this time select windows 7 click on apply click on ok and then check if nothing works in that case simply uncheck this if it's not working, you can remove this for both the exe file and then follow the next step. Now the next step is to update windows using update assistant. Make sure your windows is up to date. So first of all, open windows settings and then go to update and security or windows update. Now click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed, restart your computer and then launch the game. So it is important to install the latest update and then launch the game now if you face any kind of problem updating your windows then you can use update assistant so if you have windows 10 go to this website the link is provided in the video description over here you can see update now option click on update now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow now if there is any pending update it will let you know and you will see update now option right now the latest version is 22H2 so click on update now and install it now if you have windows 11 then go to this web website the link is provided in the video description and over here you will find windows 11 installation assistant click on download now and then run this exe file now if there is any pending update it will give you an option to update so you can click on update in my case i have windows 10 that's why i'm receiving this error so for windows 11 user you can use windows 11 installation assistant windows 10 users can use update assistant to update windows now still you're facing the problem then in that case you can update your windows using media creation tool so go to the same website for windows 10 users over here you can see media creation tool click on download tool now and then run this exe file then you will see this screen Click on accept by default upgrade this PC now would be selected. Click on next. It will start downloading Windows 10 along with the latest update. Now before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. Now when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer. Now click on install and after the installation log into your computer and then launch the game. So for Windows 11 users you can go to the same website over here you will find media creation tool. Again before the installation you will see the same screen and then by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. Click on install after the installation log into your computer and then launch the games. Now the next step is to is for steam users run the game as an ad administrator. So for this you can simply make a right click on the game select manage and click on browse local files and then make a right click on the game exe file select properties and go to compatibility put a check on the box which says run this program as an ad administrator and then click on apply click on ok and do the same thing with this exe file select properties 
go to compatibility put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply click on ok and then launch the game next step is to verify the game file for this go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to the local files tab then click on verify integrity of game files after the verification launch the game now the next step is to restart steam install if any update available so close steam you can exit steam over here now restart steam if there is any update let the update complete and then launch the game next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver so for nvidia card user go to nvidia website for amd go to amd website i am showing for nvidia on nvidia website select your graphic card make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 now click on start search scroll down over here you can see geforce game ready driver this is the latest one right now so click on get download click on download now now once the download is complete run the exe file and then you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next now let the installation complete now after the installation your driver should be up to date now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game so uninstall the game and then after the uninstall delete the game folder restart your computer and then reinstall the game and check so one of the steps should help you to get the game running and you should not receive this error anymore so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel